Hi everyone, Primacy is always open to suggestions and ideas from its users. And last year when I published a video of the probabilistic seismic hazard analysis capability of FreeMCE, I received lots of um, comments on brilliant ideas from FreeMCE users. And from that, I would like to thank the users who suggested new um, ideas because from that I was able to improve the program. And now I'm going to show you the latest uh, version of the seismic hazard analysis capability of FreeMCE. To go to the seismic hazard analysis, you have to click this button and this is the analysis interface. Now I'm going to analyze the seismic hazard in Hitafi in Bohol. However, um, the place is not listed among the cities here because it's a small town. So I have to click the, the location or, in, or the city wherein it is closer to the place. So Cebu City is the ideal initial point. And then, by the way, um, you need to have the internet connection if you want to use the probabilistic hazard uh, seismic hazard analysis of FMCA because the program is using um, Google Maps. Now here we are in Cebu um, as you can see in the aerial view and I will drag this um, crosshair to the place I want to analyze uh, in Hitafi and then I can okay this is the cursor shows that it is in Hitafi and the coordinates of the place is this one, the, lat the latitude and the longitude. Now I want to analyze the 1000 year return period um, uh, of the place for the peak ground acceleration and this is the analysis result. Now this um, analysis shows that for 1,000 year return period, it is, um, the peak ground acceleration is 363 and the corresponding magnitude and hypocenter distance are shown here. And the analysis also shows the simulated ground motion time histories as well as the response spectra of the ground motion. Now, lately I got a, I received a very brilliant idea from one of the FreeMCE users in which he asked if FreeMCE can generate a report uh, from the analysis, which I thought it's a really good idea. So from that, I was able to um, develop a new capability to generate the report. So I created this menu, PSHA report. And if you click this uh, menu, uh, the program will ask you to type the name of the place because it will be printed out in the report. Now, it takes a bit of time because the program will generate a PDF file for the report. And this is what you can see in the report. Um, what you um, is um, shown here is the aerial view of the location. And this is the uh, peak ground acceleration hazard curve. This is the simulated ground motion time history and the uh, response spectra of the ground motion. In the report, it will print out the, uh, it will show the look, uh, give the location name and the site coordinates. It will also give the peak ground acceleration corresponding to 1000 years which I nominated earlier as well as the magnitude and the hypocenter distance. Now I think one of the most important um, information you can get from this report is the peak ground acceleration hazard curve because using this curve if you nominate uh, the average return period you can get the peak ground acceleration by just um, projecting in this hazard curve so you can see in this latest version of frame ce um, i was able to um, improve the report or the analysis information which i believe um, 
I owe this to the FreeMCA users who are really supportive of the program and they gave me brilliant ideas which I thought I couldn't have done without the help of the um, FreeMCA users. So for that, I'm very thankful for whoever gave this brilliant idea. And that's all for today.